Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. I'm going to let you in on a big secret, <laughs> one I haven't confessed to anyone. I don't think a soul knows, <laughs> but now everyone's going to know. There was a time in my early childhood where I thought I was a lesbian. That's right. Um, I'm not sure of the age period it was. Um, I think it was really young. Because when I was 10 years old, I had a massive crush on the the older man that came to paint. His name was Connie. Uh, I thought that was a girl's name. But I remember his name was Connie. And I remember he was a much older man, like 50. And I was 10 years old. And I had a massive crush on him. And around 10 years old, um, to like like early teens like that, I always had crushes on men that were like old enough to be my dad. <laughs> so it wasn't, it wasn't then. It was much younger. Um, maybe it was before 10. But um, that I wondered what it was like to have a mail order. And I can't say it here on, I don't know what they'll censor, but they have censored me. On YouTube this isn't my first channel <laughs> um, for whatever you know <laughs> um, but not only you know curious about what it would be like to have male parts instead of female parts <laughs> it was that I was attracted to women I still I will admit that I am physically attracted to women today um, but not totally so what I mean by that is, like, I get very turned on by a woman's top part, chest, or breast. You can say that, can't you, on YouTube? And, you know, it will even be, like, sexually stimulating to me. Though I've never um, done anything um, with another woman <laughs> sexually. Um, but that's as far as it goes with me. Below the waist on a woman... I'm not interested in, um, no, <laughs> but, um, so I have like, um, a curiosity, which I think is healthy. It's healthy, whatever you feel. I mean, I was taught to feel shamed about everything. Uh, maybe because my mother abused me so horrifically when I was younger, I became attracted to, um, females female teachers and one in particular her name was Miss Sullivan um, she was like probably 25 like that and I was probably like maybe a little under 10 or 10 ish right on the verge of when I started being less interested in women and then more into men oh much much older men but before that time I was interested in women and I had a big crush on Miss Sullivan I used to you know give her presents and I had a crush on her like a boy would have a crush on a female t teacher that's how much a crush I had on her now at this age um even though I did can I say that word master rate <laughs> it's not master rate it's master I did that from a very 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 early age it drove my mother crazy she used to punish me for doing that call me a filthy slut and whore and it's just a child being curious about their body. The body is beautiful. Why teach a child to be ashamed of their body? Right? I wouldn't. I never did that with my sons. All I would say is that's something we do in private. In the privacy of our bedroom or something. That's all I would say. I would never shame them for doing it. I would just say, like, we don't do that out in public. Right? <laughs> but no, I was shamed. I was taught I, there was something wrong with me. And like, you know please. <laughs> but before then, yeah, when Miss Sullivan, let's talk about Miss Sullivan. She was so pretty, you know, this is before she got married because she did get married. She had like, you know, uh, medium length, like shoulder length blonde hair. She never wore a stitch of makeup. Um, she was just so nat, little nose, just so naturally pretty, you know, a natural, like a country girl, very natural. Um, she dressed very conservative to, conservatively too like she wore long skirts and like high neck you know nothing very conservative 
course it was a you know Catholic school <laughs> with nuns. <laughs> um, she she invited me and my best friend at the time into the teacher's room after school. I never been a te in a teacher's room before. That was off limits to the students. That was only for teachers, right? Teachers' room, no students allowed. <laughs> well, this was. When, when the classes were over, kids were on the buses, you know, heading out. And me and my friend were invited back in the teacher's room. I was so excited. You know, Miss Sullivan. Oh, my God. In the teacher's room. Whoa. <laughs> and she poured milk and she gave us cookies at one of the tables that the teacher sat at um, to have lunch. And I was just like thrilled. You know, it, it, it was like, you know. I, I was like excited, thrilled. I mean, I was really taken by her. I mean, I dreamt of her. I mean, I fantasized about her. But, you know, I know, I don't know. The fantasies weren't sexual. Um, they were like, you know, I was young then. I think I was, um, you know, I was like not at that age where I would start, um, even though I, like I told you <laughs> what I did, <laughs> self-stimulation when I was very, very young, probably four or five. Um, I probably didn't really, um, like I just know that it made me feel good. I didn't um, necessarily form any like fantasy in my head of, um, or if I did, I forget it, to be honest. I forget it, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I, I just did that because that felt good, right? What kids do things because it feels good. Um, so it's not that I remember having um, a certain sexual fantasy of, of my female teacher. But I knew that I was very attracted to her. And I knew that she excited me and that I had a crush on her. That I can tell you for sure. I also... Um, wondered what it would be like to be a boy and I I often pretended I was a boy and pretended I had a male part <laughs> instead of female part so I did go through that phase of pretending I was a boy um you know really wanting to be a boy you know how they say some people like you're you're born a girl but then you have you you really um like Ch Chaz right she is um what do we got she is son now. She is son was born a daughter, right? And growing up, she never, she wanted to become a man. She saw herself as a man. Well, I'm telling you that I went through that phase when I was very young where I saw myself as a man and was attracted to females. But it was, you know, it wasn't quite, it was before I was, you know, I don't recall having sexual fantasies of females, but I was physically attracted to females. And even to this day, yeah, I get turned on by women's... <laughs> and I don't have a problem, like, coming out and saying that, um, sure, you know, I don't have a problem admitting that... Um, and another thing, you want to know a fantasy of mine? Here it is, an adult fantasy that I still have. My fantasy is being with a man and another woman. So, a younger woman and an older man. <laughs> like an older man, like like a good, good amount older than me, okay? And a younger woman being like, I don't know legal woman like being in her 20s and having a threesome an homage a menage a trois like that but here's the thing i don't fantasize of kissing the woman um i just fantasize of her being doing things with the guy and while he's doing things with me at the same time kind of like all right I don't know how I can do say this. I mean, I have no problem saying this to you. It's just like, this is YouTube, right? Okay, like picture a man is laying down in bed. Now picture one woman is straddled to him, cowgirl. Okay? And the other woman is sitting on his face. 
facing the woman who's cowgirl. Do you get what I'm saying? Without being too more ex explicit than that. So the two, the man's lying down. The two women are, fa are face to face, right? Um, and she's sitting on his face, you know. And the other girl is riding him cowgirl style. Now, of course, the guy would like, and you know, the girl's kissing or touching, and during during that. And to me, you know, there wouldn't be like you know a real. I don't know. Even in my fantasy, I I don't really see um, myself really being so much turned on by interacting with the girl. But um, I'd be more like a voyeur, like watching the pornography or something like, you know, she's getting pleased and I'm getting pleased and I'm watching her getting pleased at the same time I'm getting pleased by this man. And like, that's the fantasy I have. I don't really have a fantasy of like playing with the girl, but the fantasy is just what I described it. <laughs> it's just my fantasy. Okay. I don't have any desire to kiss a girl. So there's nothing wrong with any of it. I'm not coming here and saying, if you like that, this... Uh, no, I'm just telling you my... What I desire. I don't have a fantasy of kissing a girl. I don't have a fantasy of um, a woman... Like, when I, I mean girl, I mean, you know, above eight, you know, legal age. <laughs> I don't want to get... <laughs> um... And I don't have a fantasy of, you know, but I love watching, like, um, I, I love voyeurism. I love, would, I would love to watch um, a girl and a guy. Not a girl and a girl. Uh, I know that turns men on, but a girl and a guy. Yeah, or being a part of, like, um, a, a sexual experience where there is a guy and another girl. An older guy and a younger girl. And... All three of us are together, but not necessarily that me and her are doing anything. We're just like, you know, getting pleased together and watching each other getting pleased, watching each other's reactions to getting in like that. That's my fantasy. Okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's never going to happen because I'm insanely jealous. <laughs> I'm an insanely jealous person, so I would be jealous uh, of, you know, the guy, you know, they say these fantasies, like, they're best kept fantasies, like, because, and I know myself, I'm insanely jealous, so, in, in reality, the fantasy wouldn't work out, you know, so to speak, but, anyway, that's my, that has been my adult fantasy, and, um, but when I was younger, I had crushes on women, and I was attracted to women, and especially that one teacher, I, and, I think there was someone else too, but I don't remember. I just remember that I really was attracted to this woman at the time that I wanted to be a boy and had fantasies of myself being a boy. Uh, I, I outgrew them. Um, I don't want to be a boy now. I love being a girl. <laughs> but, but, but there was a time that I did want to be a boy. I think I even stuffed things in my pants. Um, pretending it was, you know, and like having a crush on the teacher and being excited to be around her and stimulated and, you know, like a boy would be, not a girl. Um, my friend just came along because, I don't know, maybe I was too nervous to be with her one-on-one, -on -one, you know. Um, I don't remember if, she, if I asked if my friend could come or, you know, I don't know how that came about, <laughs> but yeah, um, my friend was there too. So having milk and cookies in the teacher's lounge with that sweet Miss Sullivan, so super pretty. I was looking at her like a boy would be looking at her. You shouldn't be, um, I was always taught to feel shame about everything. Everything, you know, even my nationality. My mother said, don't tell anyone you're Portuguese. What's wrong with being Portuguese? Don't say that your father, my father's, Italian. I'm half Italian. 25% Portuguese and 25% English. But she didn't want me to say what part of Italy my father's family was from. Sicily. 
that was very embarrassing. Don't say that. Why? What's the difference with Italy, what part of Italy? <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to say this. You're not supposed to say that. People will think this. Don't say that. And it's like I was like in a straight jacket. I was literally in a straight jacket growing up. Imagine like making your daughter feel like she's like a um a slut because you know she likes to please herself. That's like normal, you know, that's a normal thing for boys and for girls. Like why make them feel that's a body's beautiful. Why make someone feel ashamed of the body, you know? Uh, I just think it's horrific the way I was raised. Horrific. That's why I did that video yesterday about hating my mother. I wouldn't have a... Um, and if my son said he liked men, that's fine. You you feel that you're, you want to be with a man and not a woman? I support you. You know what I mean? Why not? I mean, why be ashamed of who we are? Whatever we are. If we're a man trapped inside a woman's body... Or we're a woman who like other women or whatever. You know, I don't see any shame in it. Whatever our nationality is, I don't see any shame in it. Whatever we enjoy sexually, as long as it's with two adults that are consenting. Two consenting adults. Other than that, what's wrong with it? You know, that's not how I grew up. But that's what I believe is right. You know?